Hi guys, welcome back to another Who Review, and today I'm going to be looking at Torchwood episodes 6 and 7, The Middlemen and Immortal Sins. Episode 6 serves as the fallout episode for the death of Dr. Juarez. The video that was taken gets leaked online once the gang escape. The guy who ran the camp gets his comeuppance. Gwen gets her father out of the overflow camp in Wales and blows up the facility just for good measure. <laughs> um, what else happened? Oh yeah, the big reveal was at the end that Gwen puts in the i5 contact lenses and is basically hijacked <laughs> by the, whoever is doing this because they have her family and they tell her that they need she needs to bring Jack to them that's pretty much the episode in a nutshell I can't remember much about it but it's all right it did what it needed to do and we got a really good cameo from Ernie Hudson he played a decent part but then Ernie Hudson's great in everything the real action hits off in Immortal Sins where we get a real return to form for Torchwood this is basically what a Torchwood episode is for me we get backstory, we get plot, and we get some nice character moments. The plot revolves around Gwen having captured Jack after luring him out of the comfort of the rest of the place. I can phrase that better. After Gwen captures Jack by luring him out to the car, he and her are travelling to wherever these people are going. Well, wherever these people want them to go. And intercut throughout this bit is flashbacks to Jack's time in America. Around the 1930s, I believe it was. And he meets up with an Italian guy called Angelo. And of course, Jack being Jack, sleeps with him. I can see them editing that out of the BBC bit. Jesus. That is hot and steamy. <laughs> That's the spicy meatball in your mouth. <laughs> but, um... Jack and Angelo is a good dynamic, actually. They kind of play off each other, kind of like the Ninth Doctor and Rose. I got a real sense of that while watching it. Like the Doctor and his companion, and they even reference that on the show. Jack says something to the effect of, a Doctor friend of mine always has his companion, so... It was a really good bit. It showed Jack being soft not soft but being caring to someone and they go on their little Torchwood shenanigans when it's revealed to actually go back Jack and Angelo <laughs> that reminds does anyone remember that old TV show, Mike and Angelo? With like the alien dude and the little kid? God, it's been ages since I thought about that show. <laughs> anyway, getting off track. <laughs> Jack and Angelo go on their little Torchwood shenanigans and they appear to be bootlegging. <laughs> Which catches the ire of the local mob who instead of killing them, Jack convinces him to 
let them work for him. And what they find at the warehouse they're supposed to get something from is some sort of parasite. And it's some sort of br brain parasite thing. And apparently someone's trying to attach that to one of the American presidents at the time, I forget who. And they referenced the Trickster's br Brigade, which was in turn left of season four of Doctor Who. And derail history again, much like they did there. Um, they kill it, do all that. But as, they, as they're escaping, the police catch on. And Jack is killed in front of Angelo's eyes. Angelo gets arrested and is sent to prison for a time I don't think is specified. But when Angelo comes out, guess who's waiting there to see him? Jack. And of course Angelo's pretty freaks out. And he's convinced Jack is the devil. <laughs> All those wacky Catholics. But yeah, this is where the episode gets really dark. Because Angelo is so convinced that Jack is the devil that Angelo kills him. And then sees him wake up. So he kills him again. This time getting the landlord and landlady to witness it. And because they're in the little Italy part of New York, I'm guessing there are a lot of Catholics. So proclaims of the devil abound and then they string him up. And people start beating him to death. Beating, shooting, cutting, everything. And they start gathering up his blood. So I'm guessing they think he's some sort of, Well, they think he's some sort of miracle. And I've just made that fucking connection that Jack might be responsible for Miracle Day. Fucking hell. Dun. Anyway. Angelo finally repents and releases Jack and he wants to run away with Jack and Jack says you cute guys like you you kill me and he jumps off a building <laughs> melodrama leaving Angelo to whatever fate he has meanwhile back in the present Jack and Gwen meet up with Oh, during the vicious beating scene, we do get a look at who's behind this. I mean, we've seen the little triangle thing, but we finally see them. Granted, it's in the 1930s, so they're probably way old by now, but I'm going to refer to them as the triumvirate. Three businessmen make a pact right in front of Jack to buy him essentially and then Jack escapes before he can be delivered presumably so back in the present Gwen and Jack arrive at the drop off point and they are greeted by legendary DS9 actor Nana Visitor and damn does bitch look old imagine Felicity Kendall as she looks now then imagine her five years older and not as attractive. That's what Nana Visitor looks like now. <sighs> Kira got old. But yeah, through magical Torchwood shenanigans using the I-5s, the rest of the Torchwood team know where they are, they've been tracked. And... Uh, Rex and Esther take out the little group who are guarding Nana Visitor. Torchwood gets the upper hand again and she says that he, Jack won't struggle coming with her anyway because she can lead him to whoever's behind this. And that's pretty much where the episode ends. And it's a really good episode. This is really a Torchwood episode. I mean, sure, it's got its stupid bits, but it, it's a genuinely good Torchwood episode. And I hope it can... Oh. 
and the guy who sent them is Angelo. Yeah. So, what the hell's going to happen there? I can't wait for next week, or this week, or whenever. So, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Love to your mothers.